I've read a couple conspiracy theories on the ESO forums and the comments sections of other fellow basement YouTubers like myself that give Alex Jones a run for his money. The ones I'm referring to revolve around the notion of buying crowns for gold and how it is or how it should be against the terms of service, or outright illegal, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I find it humorous that it's such a controversial subject for some, honestly. The fact of the matter is that while there may not be a feature on ESO to directly convert gold into crowns, players have been buying and selling crowns on their own accord. If you have a lot of money in real life that you don't mind spending, then purchasing crowns and then selling your crowns for gold is honestly one of the quickest ways to make a whole bunch of gold in the game. Although, of course, it's gonna cost you. And conversely, if you're like me and have a ton of gold in game and next to no gold IRL, then being able to buy crowns with a free virtual currency is such an amazing feature. I've received some fair criticisms on my channel from viewers that don't quite understand why it's important to make so much gold on ESO. They suggest that it's unnecessary. Some even go as far as to say that they think the trading system in the game is ridiculous and flawed and they don't even need a trading guild to get by in ESO. And I don't doubt it. They do have a point. If you play ESO semi-seriously, then the only items that you really need to worry about buying are consumables like potions and food, upgrade materials to improve your gear, and it wouldn't hurt to have some spare cash to purchase items that you don't want to farm for like, say, a specific weapon for a PvP build. Of course, the more serious of a player you are, the more items you're going to want to buy, but still. Some of the most expensive items in the game, like furniture, furnishing plans, and motifs, are not necessities. I mean, yes they are, but you know what I mean. If you like having those extra nice items though, like me, then you'll definitely want to consider getting into the trading aspect of the game. If you become a very serious trader and have an excess amount of gold, then you can really start to reap the rewards of your trading efforts when you can comfortably afford to purchase crowns for gold. For example, each crown crate season, I open up hundreds of crates without ever spending one real life penny. And no, not because horny sims gift me crates, you f***ing degenerates, but because I buy them with in-game gold that I earn myself, thank you very much. Besides cosmetics, you can even go ahead and purchase DLCs with gold, which is really handy if you don't have an ESO Plus subscription. So how's it done? How exactly do you buy crowns for gold? Well, allow me to educate you. As of recording this video, there is no means to directly purchase crowns to have on your account for gold. Instead, what you can do is purchase items from the crown store for gold. Again, you can't do this through some kind of in-game feature, but rather through another player that's willing to exchange a crown item for an agreed-upon sum of gold. In any crown exchange, there's a buyer and there's a seller. Sometimes there's even a broker, but I'll get to that later. The crown buyer and seller will agree on a crown to gold rate that they will use when determining the price of the crown item. For example, Let's say that the crown seller is willing to sell their crowns at 600 to 1. This means that for every one crown, the buyer will have to pay 600 gold. If the crown buyer wants to buy 15 crown crates, which normally go for 5,000 crowns, then the buyer will have to pay the crown seller 3 million gold, since 5,000 times 600 is 3 mil. The crown buyer is then expected to give the crown seller the agreed upon sum of gold via a trade. Through the mail could work as well, I suppose. Once the crown seller receives their gold, they are expected to go into the crown store and gift the item, in this case the 15 crown crates, to the buyer. And there, now the buyer has successfully purchased an item with crowns for gold. When it comes to trading gold for crowns, it's the crown buyer that is generally expected to trade the crown seller first. The person offering gold for crowns is expected to complete their portion of the trade first because should the crown seller choose to scam them and not hold up their part of the deal, the crown buyer will only have lost some free virtual currency. Whereas if it's the crown seller that ends up getting scammed, they'll have lost real currency since you need to buy crowns with real money. The risk is higher for the crown seller, which is why it's not generally expected for the crown seller to gift any crown item until they've received their gold, but people do tend to have different opinions on this matter. 
To avoid scams, sometimes a broker is used. This is especially common when there's a lot of gold involved, like if a person's looking to purchase a house in the crown store for gold. A broker is usually someone with a reputation to uphold in the game, like a guild master or officer, who can hold on to the crown buyer's gold and gift it to the crown seller only after the crown buyer has received their gift. This way, should the crown seller run off, the broker can always return the gold back to the buyer. Do keep in mind that sometimes, depending on what crown buying or selling service you're using, using a broker comes with additional costs, in the sense that you'll have to pay the broker or the crown exchange service that they represent a small fee for their time and as insurance should a scam ever occur in the future, so that the victim of the scam may be compensated by the crown exchange organization. Scams do happen. Oftentimes, the general rule of, if it looks too good to be true, it is, is a good one to follow. Likewise, don't go around unironically asking to buy crowns for low prices. People that state that they're selling crowns for ridiculously low prices are very likely trying to take advantage of desperate buyers by taking their gold and running off with it. Conversely, a crown buyer may persuade a crown seller to gift them their crown item first before they trade them any money and then run off when they receive their item without ever paying. I'd recommend not purchasing crowns or selling crowns for gold through zone chat. I mean, come on, what are you doing? Have you seen the kinds of shit that goes on in zone chat? You really trust these guys? I mean, you deserve to be scammed, honestly. No, I'm kidding, please don't report me. Buying and selling crowns through a guild is a much safer option, since should one party decide to scam the other, there'll be consequences, such as being removed from the guild and blacklisted. This alone should really deter scammers. By being in your guild's discord, you can also post a willing to buy or willing to sell crowns ad. When someone responds to your ad, you can see who exactly the person is by recognizing them or using the Discord search tool to preview their activity. Obviously, active players and players that have been around in the Discord forever are unlikely to throw away the reputation and position in the guild for one lousy crown scam. If you ever do get scammed when buying or selling crowns, you can submit a ticket to Zoss to explain that you've been scammed. Be sure to take screenshots or a video to prove that it happened, but don't worry if you didn't get a chance to, since Zoss should have access to the chat logs. The absolute safest option to avoid being scammed when buying or selling crowns is to do so through a crown buying and selling discord. There are quite a few of these discords for players that are looking to buy crowns on all of the different ESO servers. I'll briefly go over some pretty popular ones, and I'll be sure to leave an invite link for each of the mentioned discord servers in the description of this video, for those that may be interested in joining. TCE operates within the PCNA server only. They opened their doors in 2018 and have remained scam-free ever since. When I reached out to the founder of TCE to receive a quote for a post on my website, she informed me that TCE had just recently surpassed 101 million crowns traded completely scam-free, making it one of the largest and safest communities for exchanging gold for crown store items. Their Discord server is easy to navigate and easy to use. I've used TCE myself on multiple occasions to buy crown crates and other crown goodies. You may also apply to become a seller for TCE through their server, and they have trusted brokers on deck to help you with those larger crown sales and purchases. Crowns are purchased and sold through TCE through a set exchange rate that is ultimately decided upon by TCE and influenced by supply and demand. If you're looking to buy or sell crowns through TCE, you will have to do so while using this exchange rate. Some trading and social guilds have partnered themselves with TCE and thus have a special code that can be used when buying crowns through TCE to be able to receive a discount. The Crown Network is a Discord server that operates exclusively on PCEU. Like TCE, the Crown Network has authorized sellers that are thoroughly vetted to ensure that crowns are traded safely. They utilize brokers for a majority of their transactions to further ensure the safety of the crown buyer and seller. They too have a set crown exchange rate that all crown buyers must refer to when looking to purchase crowns. The World Crown Exchange, as the name suggests, operates on all of the ESO servers. Unlike TCE and the Crown Network, WCE operates on a free market model, where the crown buyers and sellers are welcome to post advertisements for purchasing and selling crowns at their own rates, as opposed to a uniform rate determined by the server. 
The founder of WCE informed me that they are the oldest, largest, and safest free market community for trading gold in crown store items, with nearly 14,000 members and millions upon millions of crowns sold. And that's about all you need to know when it comes to buying crowns for gold in ESO. I highly encourage you to join those Crown Exchange Discord servers if you're interested in purchasing or selling crowns. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go buy crowns to trade for gold. <laughs>